Hello, Salt Strong Nation. Joe Simons, like diamonds. Got Luke, got Nick. What's up, gents? Hey, guys. The platform got even better. Yes, it did. <laughs> and today we're talking about oysters, how to find oyster bars with the quickest way I've ever seen, and seagrass as well. This is, um, this is one of the latest and greatest new and improved features of the smart fishing spot system that all of our insiders get for free as a member and we've teased this a couple times in the past that there's going to be a, a version two if you will or an upgrade this isn't it this is just something and this is just a cool add-on from kind of v, v meaning version number one the version number two that we've been teasing with some really exciting things that are even going to trump this is coming in the month of july so coming very soon but this isn't even like the most exciting part, but this is, in my opinion, pretty game changing because from a pretty far out view, we're going to show you uh, if you're listening, you'll have to go watch this uh, this episode if you're listening to the podcast. But if you're watching this, you're about to see Nick demonstrate uh, how to find these oyster bars and seagrass beds with the click of a mouse. And uh, it, it's really, really fascinating. You can even drop a pin and get the coordinates. Uh, and we're doing this not just in Florida, not just in Texas, but in Carolinas and pretty much anywhere we can find this data, we're pulling this in. It's going to take a little while for some of the other states, but I think, Nick, for the most part, Florida's kind of done. Uh, yeah, Flor and, yep. absolutely. Yeah, Florida's done. Uh, most of Texas is done, and we're starting to focus on the Carolinas, some of the other states. All right. Well, let's dive in, dude. Show us how this works. How okay. to find oyster bars. It, let me let me add one thing too, in case somebody's like, why do I care about where oyster bars and seagrass is? If you're going after redfish, sea trout, snook, flounder, that's what you want. That they will be congregating on those areas. So if you're in an area with a lot of seagrass and a little bit of oysters, finding the oyster bars can be game changers. Like for my area where I fish Tampa and a lot of the central Gulf. Finding oyster bars is, is crucial, and this platform will literally highlight it so you will know exactly where every one of them are with the click of the button. Yep. And if and you're in an area with, uh, with a lot of oysters, then finding those little patches of seagrass can be game changers as well, and this platform does it both. So this is the quickest way to get on to some of the best feeding zones in your area or when you're traveling to new areas that I've ever seen. And this, the fact that it's all in one spot, this has never been done before that, that I've ever seen. And, uh, and it's, it, as you'll see, it's very easy to do. And most importantly, it's just, it makes it where it's as user-friendly as possible. Yep. And it's all part of this app, Smart Fishing Spots, free for our Insider members. Just one more reason to join. Remember, Luke, we did a book, a book review. It was a while back and I'm blanking on the guy's name, but he was a professional fisherman from Texas, well-known guy, wrote the book. And he had a chapter in there about the best fishing spot. And he's like, if I could only pick one, one type of spot, to fish if like it was only limited to one type of spot it would be oysters without a doubt he's like all i would fish is oysters if that's all i could do so this is incredibly powerful i'm glad you brought it up nick without further ado let's see what you got oyster boy <laughs> <laughs> all right let's do it so uh first thing i'm gonna do is the forecast we have up top i'm gonna minimize that so i can get a full view of the map mm. and i'm just gonna zoom into an area that i think i'm gonna be fishing in the future let's kind of go in this area here um so in our layer so you click on this little uh gear icon and then this is the layer icon uh you're gonna see two new buttons there's oyster beds and seagrass so I'm going to click oyster beds and immediately it highlights oh. oyster beds within a hundred mile radius of the center of my map. So then as I zoom in, I can pan and it's going to load in other oyster beds so that I can find them. That is easily. crazy. Yeah. So now let me zoom in. You can actually see. So let me, I'll, I'll toggle the oyster beds on and off. So I'll take them off. And you can see the, a little bit in the satellite where they are. But, but dude, then most you, people would miss like that one right there. Most people would miss that just looking oh, at a normal satellite map. Absolutely. Like, look at this one right here. If I turn it off, you, you can't even see it on the map. And a oh. lot of the, you know, the latest uh, Google satellite imagery is starting to get some reflection on the water. And you can't quite read under what's under the water uh, in the shallower depth. So uh, with this, like you can see, it totally highlights that area. And then what's really cool is you'll be able to um, click our little marker tool here, and then you can you can drop a pin and it'll give you the the GPS coordinates for that 
uh, Oyster Bar. The other thing you'll be able to do is um, you can actually go into our routes tool and you can create a route on, you know, actually getting out there and you can highlight some of these, you can, you know, just create your, your trip uh, plan basically. And then you can export that and import it into your, um, your GPS device. Um, so let me go back. I'm going to go ahead and clear. So sick. Luke, like what if we had this five years, 10 years ago? I mean, uh, even, even last month, it would have been helpful. <laughs> like literally this is really is a game changer. And, and cause I, I, one of my favorite things to do is just explore new areas. And I was down in Manatee river, uh, really just last week and fishing areas I've never, never been to before. And I, I was just looking around and I clicked that oyster bar area and, and a, a couple spots popped up that I didn't, that I didn't realize was good. And I totally skipped over them because I, I just didn't, didn't know it was there. And, and this is the fact that it's there and, and I can do it on my phone. Like all this is available from your phone too. So I could have been out on the water and just tapped that oyster bar button. And now I can see all the oysters near me, like really is. Uh, this is a very big deal. Even this, is, this isn't our big revelation, but this is a really big deal. Yeah, we got bigger stuff even coming, but yeah, this is sick. I mean, look at all these oyster bars. Yeah, here's a classic example of like the reflection of the water, and you can't see anything here. And then as soon as you turn it on, then then it, it just highlights it. Um, and then as I pan, it'll it'll just keep bringing in all the other ones. I can back up and and uh, let's see. There's some down here. So let's go into uh, yeah, seagrass. Crazy. So I'll go back into this. This one's this one. This area's got a lot of them. But um, so if I click on seagrass, now you're going to see these seagrass patches in relation to the oyster beds, and they're highlighted in green. And then obviously the the oyster beds are in gray. So then you can see some oyster beds that that have a little bit of grass mixed in between. And um, those would be prime spots. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so my, my personal favorite fishing spots, almost all of them have both oysters and seagrass next to each other. So with, with using both of them, you can, especially with areas like this, the, like not many areas have this many oysters. So you can, you can start to, to isolate the ones that are most likely going to have to be the feeding zones. And those are the ones that have the oysters and the seagrass combined. Like that point, like that one that's kind of the middle to the right, there's a, a point of grass on the oysters. Um, the that's just, yeah, like that, that's one, but, uh, yeah, where, where they're combined, that's going to be the, the ideal zones. I have a feeling bird Island is a pretty good spot to fish. <laughs> Golly. If you guys are listening to this, you have to watch this episode. I mean, just that screen right there that you had, Nick, that is crazy. So yeah. everything green is the grass and everything. And I guess we're going to call that gray or the oyster beds uh wow that is so and again, cool the, and the fact that both are in one platform that's user friendly that has never been done before again at least not that i've seen i've i've uh, done a lot of research over the years just trying to find shortcuts and this is the biggest shortcut i've ever seen as far as finding good good spots for shallow water redfish sea trout snook and flounder oh it's a yeah, question we get all the time i'm like hey how do i how do I read these different satellite maps, right? Do I go to Google Bing MapQuest? Which one's the best to find oyster bars? We get that question all the time. Now we can skip all of it and just say, go to your Smart Fishing Spots app and yep. boom, in a click of a button, you can see all of it. Yeah. And you still have like your shade of relief and your um, your marine chart so you can see the depths as well as the, uh, the satellite view. But uh, let's go to some other areas. So uh, we've got some, I'm gonna turn off Turn off these. Uh, we can go down like Sarasota Bay has some. So you can see all along the mangroves here, there's some. And then let me go up here, see all along here. These are yeah, all oysters, so yeah. I've, yeah I've, fished, I've, I've fished a lot of these areas and I've literally seen like some of my favorite spots lighting up because yeah. they're, you know, holding there's like, that. Palmasola Bay and all the grass and all the oysters. It seems like they tend to be around kind of the edge there, but at least in this area. And then this yeah, is, uh, what area is this? Uh, Perico Bay? Yeah. And see, any, I mean, this area, this is, has clear water. So you can, you can see a lot of it from the online maps, but this is even more powerful in areas where mercury water, like Jacksonville, you know, areas that, that you can't really see uh, much clarity all on online maps. And, and again, it's all available for the entire state of florida yeah let's yeah, let's go to texas it's not just yeah, florida. Have yeah. so oyster bed so here's texas and you can see how they're highlighted and this is another example where you, can, you, you can't really see on the satellite imagery 
but it highlights them right there. Ooh, that is sick. And keep in mind, as as you pan, it, it loads in more. So you as when you back out, uh, it'll just load within a hundred mile radius of the center. So and we have them all the way up the coast here. So you just have to zoom in, and then you'll you'll see where they are. Yeah, it's that really is it's really is unbelievable that it's this easy. Yeah, look at this. Look at this area. Looks good. <laughs> that might be it. That might be a um like a farm or something. I don't know. That's nuts. Yeah. So I, I know Texas doesn't have the seagrass like we have in Florida per se. Correct. Do they have any? Is there any that not yet? Okay. No, we're we're still uh kind of doing some uh, research on that seeing what data we can pull so yes texas does have seagrass in case there's confusion we just haven't loaded it into this platform yet but uh but that's on right. the way yeah so we just want to get this out as quickly as possible literally, literally as soon as we have it loaded we want to get it out to the members so they can start fishing these spots that is awesome so um yeah. the carolinas as well for oysters yeah, Carolinas. Uh, I don't have that in there yet, uh, but there were a ton of them up there. Um, so, a lot of oysters up in Carolinas. Yeah, and when I was in in Georgia last year, we fished a lot of oyster oyster beds. Does Georgia have the data too? Uh, it's not loaded up yet, It'll but it's there. but it will be. Yes, sweet. Go so down awesome. To, uh, where else do you want to look at? I mean, it, yeah, this, so this is, is, yeah, this is another area. I've fished this before in, in Brookery Bay. This is near Naples and, and just north of Marco. And I did have a hard time because there is a, there's just a lot of sediment. There's not much grass in this area. There's a lot of sediment. So the online maps aren't very clear. And have, had I had this, it would have been, a, it would have been so much easier to find the zones. I ended up going to that shoreline right there in that hall bay and caught some fish there, but that, those are the right only on oysters here. I can see from the map. I couldn't see any of those other oysters from the maps. Wow. And that would have been a huge shortcut. Guys, how yeah. cool is this? This is awesome. Yeah, it's awesome, man. Because, uh, I mean, normally we'd have to do these, you know, spot dissection, and, and we're having to switch back and forth to these different maps to say, man, is, is that an oyster bar? Or what is that? And you're a lot of times just kind of hoping and praying that you got it just based on, on how it looks. And, uh, this is kind of done for you. Um, I almost feel bad for the fish, but I don't. <laughs> yeah. Anybody fishing? Yeah. Anybody fishing up in, you know, uh, the Atlantic side too. Yeah. Look at the reflections here. And then this just kind of points them right wow. out. And going up north, St. Augustine has it. It's really the entire, right now, the entire coastline of Florida has both the grass and the oysters loaded, and, and we'll be filling in gaps, too. This really is. There's St. Really Augustine area. Yeah, I actually fished that exact, that exact bay right there, and the fish were exactly where those docks and oysters combined, right down there. Yeah, That's look at that right there. there. That That's good. exactly where I was catching them. And I had yeah. no idea the oysters were there from the maps. <laughs> Salt run. Look at all the boats in there. God, that's crazy. I don't think there's much grass in that area. They're probably okay. green. This is so cool. Um, there's a whole bunch back here. Oh, yeah. Man, look at that. <laughs> so take take it off and let's see. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you can see a couple of them, but you would never if you were just scanning that on a normal google satellite map you would never know there was that many oysters in that area you, look at that that's look so at that cool. that's nuts guys this is a game i mean game changing and this isn't even like the big news for for july um but this will be it sounds like florida's done texas is done so we'll probably just release it nick uh yep you know in in stages not not to yeah. have to have the Florida people wait on the Carolinas and uh, we're just going to keep piling these things in. And then um, as, as I said, July, wait for some even more exciting news uh, that's just going to make it so much easier to find the fish. Cause that's what, that's the thing we're solving for, right? Our members, they're busy people. You're busy people, right? When we hit the water, we don't like to just sit there and fish. We want to be catching and one of the hardest things about fishing in general is just finding the best spots. 
and um you know he or she who has the best fishing spots usually catches the most fish um and assuming you're a decent caster and know how to retrieve and all that but uh the spots is the thing like that's always that number one variable and so like all right how can we make this easier for our thirty thousand plus insider members to find the fish fast as humanly possible and so that's what we're waking up every morning and guys like nick are waking up every morning who's happens to be a, a pretty hardcore angler himself and he's like all right what would i want in here what's something else that we can add just to help people have as much information at their fingertips and the snap of a finger to be able to find honey holes and um this is next level the next piece of news which will be kind of the v2 will be even you, you i mean it's going to probably shock a lot of people and uh, maybe even put some other companies out of business it's like that good uh and and then the third round is like something that's i don't think i don't think the round two or three have ever been done before i, I believe it's something we could even patent um it, it may, I, I can't i'm so pumped i can't wait for you guys to see this but this is exciting in and of itself uh for all you members you, you'll have access to this probably as you're watching this it should be live and uh yep. play around with it give us some some feedback and uh and for some other states if uh you know virginia i mean we're, we're gonna try to get this for every state that we have we possibly can as long as the the data is out there and, and import it in here and as Nick said, the cool part is you can sit there and make tracks around this and then export it uh, to your unit or however the heck you want to want to use that. Uh, super, super helpful. And Luke, you, you said recently you were doing some more nearshore stuff. And I mean, while you're on your phone, you can literally see that you're on top of, of the structure that it's showing. I mean, that, that's yeah. pretty doggone and, precise. Yeah. And, and what Nick was showing is you can you can plot out a route and you can just click on or tap on the spots uh, on the specific spots that look good like so in this case you can do like the points of the oyster bars where the oysters and the grass meet or you can go on the shade relief and uh, which which was what i was doing to shade relief for the deeper water and i could actually see rocks and i would just click on each rock export that that uh, that data into the uh, cxv file i believe is what it was and that's what goes into the garmin uh, uh, unit that i have and uh, and then i would just upload it into the unit and then i have i now have like 40 spots along the Tampa Bay shipping channel that I know they're rocks and that's where the fish are holding. And so it's, it's surprisingly easy, even like I'm not a tech guy by any means. And I was able to, to, uh, to pretty easily figure it out. Yeah, I can do a quick demo here. So you just do your route tool. And then let's say if you want to fish these little spots here, you can kind of do that and it'll give you the GPS coordinates. And then you can save it. And then from there, you can export it as a GPX. Actually, we have a couple of different formats uh, when you export it. And then it gives you the file that. Can you, can you show up? Can you do that real quick? Yeah. Let me um, hit. So I'll go ahead finish, and yeah. I'll save this save. as test route. Okay. And then uh, we'll go through. I'll choose my test route. And we've got a GPX, which is just pretty standard for your. Uh, fish finders, your different GPS uh, devices. And then there's a KML file, which uh, a lot of people use Google Earth. So you can download the KML file and then port it into Google Earth uh, that way. Uh, you can also just use this on your phone, use smart fishing spots on your phone, and you can just see the route there because we do have a locate button. It'll locate you and you can record a track so you can see where you are in relation to the route. So you have a couple different options. Okay, pretty awesome. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, and then I can clear it. Once you clear it, it just removes it from the map. You still have it in your saved routes. Cool. If only we had this years ago. Is uh, it's, yeah, it's awesome. absolutely next level. And as Luke said earlier, this is technically a progressive app, so it looks just like an app. It sits on your phone just like normal. You're always logged in once you do it once. You can put it on your tablet. I know a lot of people are taking their tablets out uh, while they're fishing just to have a little bit you know bigger and brighter screen and of course your laptop because a lot of this you know is, the power of this is done off the water right the pre-trip plan just like we're doing you know right now uh because you know the bigger your screen just the more you're going to get out of this at least in my opinion but as luke said it is nice even if you're in a brand new spot and you forgot to do all your pre-trip planning and you're out there you could literally have it on your phone hit a button just like we're doing here it looks just like this just shrunk it down on your phone and then boo bam sham you got every oyster bar in the area and or seagrass if, if it's available so cool yeah. in fact i put a tablet mount on the console of my boat so i can have a tablet right there and i can pull it up real quick pretty smart yes sir what the heck is that 
Was the Skyway Bridge? Uh, oh, that's, that's the bridge. Was like, right. the bridge? Yeah. I'm moving around real fast, so it's kind of jumping around. Well, unbelievable. There it goes. Well, um, yeah, we don't want to give away too much here. Look okay. All, all right. All all right. All that. Um, <laughs> that's sure. only for our members. So, yeah, guys, if you've been on the fence about joining, uh, hopefully this puts you over the edge. I mean, this is just one of the things that uh that we're doing for our insider members you know we have some people who come in for the discounts the tackle discounts excite a lot of people uh, just because I mean, you can save hundreds or even we had some members save thousands of dollars just on their their tackle because we do give really amazing discounts and we've partnered up with a lot of these companies i can't name but they're uh they're really massive brands that you get anywhere from 10 to 20 percent off that's not in our store uh, these are separate partnerships we have on our discount page. So if you current members, if you weren't aware of this, we have a really awesome discount page uh, that is getting updated every single week that shows all of your discounts with, with all the big brands. So a lot of people come in for that. And then a lot of people, you know, come in just for the shortcuts. As I mentioned earlier, we're, we're busy. We, we want to have confidence when we hit the water and we have everything from little mini courses to Luke doing a 10 minute game plan every Friday so every Friday morning, uh, a 10 minute game plan that basically curates everything going on uh, in the entire Southeast on, on and, and really just kind of reveals here's the type of spots and the depths and the, even lures or bait you want to be using this weekend. So we do that every single week. And then our fishing coaches go out and fish a new spot every single day, Monday through Friday. So we're literally doing an on the water report. This is the stuff you can't find out there on YouTube. No one's literally showing you the spot and where they launched and where they saw fish, where they got bait all literally showing you everything in a brand new spot every single day. And uh, it starts in Texas and we got Pat now traveling all up and down the, the coast, fishing brand new spots, showing how this stuff can work and even fishing with our members. And, uh, and then, you know, Luke and, and Tony and, and Justin are going out and hit, hit new areas as, uh, as well. Luke's even doing some near shore stuff now. Uh, I know you have a report here uh, this, this week with uh, near shore and, uh, and that's really exciting with this app, too, uh, just because of all the stuff you can see on that uh, that 3D shaded relief. It's so sick. So join us today if you haven't at saltshore.com. For you current members, you're welcome. I mean, this is this is next level. This wasn't even part of the original plan, I'll be honest. And it, you know, and that's from feedback from, you know, from you guys. So keep the feedback coming. We realized that we could do this with a little bit of coding and uh and boom here it is in a in a pretty short amount of time so nick kudos to you huge uh man just a huge add-on here this is um uh, in my opinion one of the most valuable things just to be able to find oyster bars because this is, that guy in texas said if i can only fish one spot i'm gonna hit oysters because there's always there's always a food source there right and that's usually where you see birds and that's usually where you're gonna have redfish and, and trout and snook and flounder pulling up to it it's the dinner bells ringing when uh, when that tide starts coming in so yeah the, the cool else, thing yes. about this I'll, I'll add one thing the cool thing about this platform but right now we have all of florida and texas for oysters and more gonna be loaded and and you don't have to to re-up upload the the software it's not like a, a, an app where any change you have to redo and and upload it it happens automatically so so as soon as we add more stuff you automatically get it you don't have to do anything extra yep and same with the weather I, i'm now using this smart fishing spots for my weather and my radar. Uh, I mean, if you hit one of those days, Nick, just up, up above, you hit yep, any day yep. and it breaks out everything, even for you that really want to see the the pressure. I mean, you have everything on there broken out by hour and this is updating how often, Nick? Uh, it's like every 10 minutes. Okay. I said 15. So uh, every okay. 10 minutes or so. Yeah. 10 to yeah. 15. And as you see, there's no ads. So my my traditional weather apps, there's ads popping up all I the time, driving crazy. I'm trying to like me. tap to like zoom in. I, I click on an ad. Now I got to deal with that. So ad free, just for insiders. It's all in one spot. This really is. This is way better than than uh, than I I thought it was going to be when we first went down this route. Like this is really is remarkable. I knew it was going to be good. I didn't know it was going to be this good. Yeah, and more weather coming. weather coming our way, huh? Yeah. Looks like it. here's one thing I like to do is oh, we're actually building a just a quick measurement tool, but for right now I just use routes, so I can kind of go like this and get an idea of how far that cell is offshore, 21 nautical miles. That'll kind of give me an idea. But we're gonna do a quick little measurement tool too, because a lot of people are asking for that. So cool. that's the other thing about this platform is we're getting a lot of member feedback. So when members send us ideas, we build it out. So it's like you know it's it's uh, all inclusive of their ideas too. Cool. All right. Well, let's go fishing before this rain comes, boys. <laughs>
<laughs> Sounds good to me. All right, guys, we appreciate you big time. Make sure to log in. If you're a current member, Smart Fishing Spots app, get it on your phone, get it on your tablet. Obviously, it's unlimited access to all this stuff. And if you're not a member, what the heck are you waiting on? Someone to grab you by the hand and show you where to fish every week? Because that's just one of the many things that we do. So go to saltstrong.com to join. You'll see a little button to join the Insider Club. And the best news, it's risk-free. We put our money where our mouth is. So if you don't think it's the best fishing investment ever, just let us know. We'll give you your money back. No hard feelings. And uh, we just want our, we want our software back now. <laughs> so guys, love you. Appreciate you. Nick, awesome job. And uh, we'll Thanks, talk guys. to you guys in the next episode. Peace. We out. Sounds good. See, See ya. ya.